What's up, YouTube? Appreciate you for tuning in. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Now, before we get into the video, as always, I want to say I appreciate everybody with that like button. It really helps my videos get recommended. Now, today's video, we got YB and we got no cap. So, I'm pretty sure y'all seen the previous situation where, you know, YB saying something on his Never Broke Again page about, you know, no cap and how he's seen, you know, slick stuff that he been saying. And I didn't understand what it was. I just thought it was the recent thing when he was saying, you know, he don't want to do no music with YB right now because he felt like, you know, it, people be looking at it as for clout. And he just trying to make his own name. I thought it was just that. I never seen the stuff that happened back in 2017. And hopefully these screenshots that, you know, people end up finding, you know, they're not real. But, you know, it looked real. It's a Facebook message of, you know, no cap basically saying that, you know, he can't even listen to what This dude talk about damn, nigga. Hustling Boy 2.0, y'all already know what it is, man. Back with another video, man, about the boy, NBA Young Boy, no cap. They got a little situation going on. I don't really know like that. You dig what I'm saying? I'm just broadcasting it to y'all, you feel me? It's, 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 to me, it's like something that two homeboys could talk talk over the phone with. But, you know, you see what they do for views? You hear me? Hey, shout out to the Positivity Gang, Hustle Squad, Hustle Universe, and all that you did. Two of them things in one night. But let's see what's going on. Appreciate all the likes. Appreciate all the comments. Appreciate all the love, y'all. Let's see what's going on, man. It's for y'all, man. A lot of familiar family. You yeah, already know. For 30 minutes, he was speaking on, you know, G-Money situation, saying, like, a lot of these BR rappers are, you know, trying to claim, you know, what happened to G-Money. And he was just saying a lot of stuff, and this stuff was, you know, crazy. But this was back in 2017. I wouldn't even think, you know, no cap would even speak like this. But going back and looking at what YB said, you know, the slick stuff that, you know, no cap been saying, you know, this is what add up, you know, what YB saw. So I don't know if he saw it just recently. That would make more sense than him, you know, actually seeing it before he got signed. So I feel like, you know, no cap ended up forgetting about that. It was a long time ago. You know, he ended up, you know, blowing up. Somebody ended up picking him up. See, this homeboy type of stuff that could be talked about over the phone. First of all, at the end of the day, no cap don't have no room. Or it's like, how dare you speak about a situation with, you know, YB and G Money? And that show you where your 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 allies at. You dig what I'm saying? So, damn, I hope I messed up my uh uh all you. Hope everything cool. But um, I don't think bro should really even spoke on G Money situation with his so called friend. And what you never know what people's mindset be at, bro. I just, you know, it's kind of weird. You feel me? So all the back and forth stuff to me is weird. It's like they, that's why they say be careful what you say because there's certain things you can't take back. You know what I'm saying? Certain things you just show who you really are. You dig what I'm saying? But that's what's going on, y'all. Montana, he ended up getting on, you know, NBA. And later on, you know, YB ended up finding out what he actually said about him. And, like, knowing that and he being your artist, I feel like, you know, he just couldn't, you know, handle that. But to be honest, I feel like, you know, No Cap was young then. You know, he was a fan of the music industry. He had his own opinion like everybody else. He didn't really say nothing too crazy. He was just, you know, into, you know, YB and other people. He was into that whole situation. And now, you know, things has changed. He became an artist. You know, he think different. You know, everything has changed. But if you was in YB shoes, you know, knowing your artist was saying this stuff about you before, you really can't think, you know, nothing other than that. I ain't even know no cap and YB, you know, I be up on stuff, but I ain't really know they were like partners like that, to be real. You did, cause it would have really been known. So YB probably do got a point of how he feel about it, bro. Like, bro, I don't really rock with you, you know, you so if he like if YB signed him on some business type deal or like as his artist or something like that, you dig what I'm saying? You never know with certain things like this, man. It's like gospel, gospel, and just like feel me. It's a book, like mm, bullshit. I don't think it be them who be letting it out. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it be them who be. I don't know. That way you got to be careful who close to you. Because how can something like this come out? Maybe it's for people, album sales and mixtapes or the next thing coming out. Because people do do stuff like that. I know enough talking. That's what's going on. What's up, YouTube? Pretty stuff and this stuff was, you know, crazy. But this was back in 2017. And I wouldn't even think, you know, no cap would even speak like this. 
But going back and looking at what YB said, you know, the slick stuff that, you know, no cap being saying, you know, this is what add up, you know, what YB saw. So I don't know if he saw it just recently. That would make more sense than him, you know, actually seeing it before he got signed. So I feel like, you know, no cap ended up forgetting about that. It was a long time ago. You know, he ended up, you know, blowing up. Somebody ended up picking him up, Montana. And he ended up getting on, you know, NBA. And then later on, you know, YB ended up finding out what he actually said about him. And, like, knowing that, and he being an artist, I feel like, you know, he just couldn't, you know, handle that. But to be honest, I feel like, you know, No Cap was young then. You know, he was a fan of the music industry. He had his own opinion like everybody else. He didn't really say nothing too crazy. He was just, you know, into, you know, YB and other people. He was into that whole situation. And now, you know, things has changed. He became an artist. You know, he think different. You know, everything has changed. But if you was in YB shoes, you know, knowing your artist was saying this stuff about you before, you really can't think, you know, nothing other than that. So I understand both sides. Y'all let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. If you feel like, you know, no cap right or YB right or both, y'all just let me know. Make sure you guys like. Hey, man. What's up? Just for y'all, all entertainment for y'all, I guess, whatever, you know, it's like girly shit to me, you feel me? Oh, she, she said this and she said that. Type shit, all right, okay. You know what I'm saying? Key guy first, I just want to bring y'all these two videos. You know? I know it's something y'all want to, you know, see and deal with. Leave y'all comments in the bottom. Y'all already know what it is, man. Hit me up on IG, Hustle Bud, NT, all that good stuff. Hustle Bud on Facebook. Hustle Bud, HQ on TikTok, you did. It's in the description, man. But my little two cents on it, it to me, they this is something they could have just talked about over the phone. I mean, it ain't no real like you did smoke like that. You did what I'm saying. Key God first, you did what I'm saying. Take care of yourself, like for real, for real. Take care of yourself and try to help out people around you. When I say people, people that you love and you know, that's on your mind, on your heart. You know what I'm saying? To do, if you if you dare to help, give a helping hand, give a helping hand. You know what I'm saying? Hey, stay positive, man. Keep a positive mental attitude like every day. Not playing with y'all about that. Stay happy, bro. Let answers, let things out your mind sometimes. The end of the day, call the end of the day for for a reason. Let the day go. Think about something else. Love y'all. See y'all next video. That's how I look cool and stuff, my bad, you know, for real.